are about to cross the tallest and longest aqueduct in the world on a canal boat. Hey, we're Steven, Jess, Little Hunter and Baby Kawa. We just wrapped up a stunning exploration of Southeast Asia. And now we've flown to the UK for a bit of a change of pace. And now... We're not staying at a hotel tonight. We've checked in to a narrow boat. So epic. And for the next week, we're going to be sailing along the canals and exploring the English countryside. Crew member one. Ready. Crew member two. <laughs> You're the captain. We're going to be going through locks, aqueducts, tunnels. We're even going to be leaving England and going to Wales. We're in Wales. You know, my favourite part about this trip is that we just don't know what's happening. Oh! We're going to hit the beach. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what to do. There's a bridge. I'm guessing we need this thing. We got it! Somebody's already screamed at me, so uh, great start to the trip. It's time to take on this adventure. Woo! Better than Cooper? Well, nice! Oh, there's a little TV and everything! Alright, Kawa, there's your bed, dude! There's <laughs> your bed! <laughs> oh, he likes that idea! I want this bed! You want this bed? Yes! Alright, better jump on it to make sure it's good! It's good! It's good? Goodness, good morning to the most beautiful day here in England. As you see, we are not staying at a hotel tonight. We have checked in to a narrow boat, and for the next week, we are going to be sailing along. Can you say sailing? Driving? Riding? I don't know the word. I don't know anything about this boat yet. Checked in last night, emptied all our suitcases, all packed, ready to go, and then this morning, we are just waiting for the receptionist to come in, show us how to drive this thing, show us how to use the locks and the aqueducts, and then we're gonna be off. I'm starting my day not with a coffee, but with a tea. <sighs> Got my cup of tea. Now I need to get my crew in order. Alrighty, crew member one. Ready. Alrighty, crew member two. Oh, thank you. And of course, the captain, because it says it on the hat, but we all know who the real captain is. Hunter. Yes. I've got a surprise. Yes. Close your eyes. Alrighty. You are the captain. Oh, what? <laughs> wow. You're the captain. Shall we go? Yes. Aye aye matey. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the driver though. You want to drive the boat? Alright, come on captain. Hello captain. Oh, I'm the crew. Go clean the gullies crew. Go clean the gully crew. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's a beautiful British September. You want to come in the jacket with me? Ah, right, come on. Oh. I want to go in the jacket. Alright, up. Ooh. Ooh. Are we going to go outside? Yes. Okay. Luckily, they provided us with all weather gear. I'm going to call it my captain's suit. You ready for this weather? Yes. Go, girl. <laughs> I'm ready for this rain. <laughs> I got my purple jacket. I love the purple jacket. Mind your head. Oh. Alright, so what we need to do yes. is we need to untie the boat. Do you remember how she tied this knot? I think so. Famous last words. Switch on the engine. Put everything back on board, including hunters. Dum -da -dum. Let's. And then we get to drive. Deal? Let's do it. Alright, All right, come back here. So, can you push this one forward for Daddy? Please? There we go. And we are driving. Alrighty, we're officially off by ourselves. Uh, Cleo, say, watch your head. Here comes the tree, everyone. <laughs> Duck. Oh, cool. How unreal is this? I just love when you find those adventures where it gets you out of your comfort zone, it gets you seeing a part of an area that you never knew existed. I did not know that the UK had all these canals. Such an amazing adventure. 
Captain Stephen is at the helm. How are you going? Yeah, I'm going good. We'll see how we go. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Alrighty, it's like 15 minutes in. Already accidentally hit another boat and uh, somebody's already screamed at me. So, uh, great start to the trip. Already got stuck as well. You think you could just kind of hold it in one place and you're good. But I don't know, maybe it's because I'm still a novice, but I feel like I'm turning it all the time just to try and keep a straight line. Come on up. Oh, we'll see how we go. <laughs> you nervous? Yeah, because you're so long and it, everything takes a bit slower. So you start turning and then you, you have to wait a few seconds. And I, it's inverted, so it's the other way. So left is right and right is left. Oh, oh my goodness, don't hit the bridge. No, 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 no. I don't want to bring that up. The bridge. Bridge. Maybe next time you'll do better. Right, good. Good what do you mean you'll do good? I'm pushing against this. My technique is to like swap arms. See that. Alright, crash course for Cleo. Good luck. What's your luck? crash course? I can have my crash course tomorrow. Busy with the kids, busy with the kids. Is it cold nappy? What are you doing down there? <laughs> Alright, so this is power forward and back. Alright, come in here. Left is right and right is left. Yeah, yeah, no, you're doing good. Which way do you... oh, I mean, you're going in the middle. This is pretty good. Oh, other way, sorry. Yeah, that's not good. Cool. <laughs> no, you're doing all right. Oh, there's some cows. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, this is cool. I'm loving this. I do love how I'm like giving her the crash course and I've been driving for what, 45 minutes? <laughs> it's a three man show. Why am I stressed? <laughs> oh, what way do I go? Other way? This way? Ah! <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> First time driving. Yeah, first time. No problem. Look at the top of the car. He doesn't even know you're there. <laughs> you know, so it's just show offs. So I'll be that soon. Point to what you want to miss. Point to what you want to not hit. Look at this backseat driver. Hasn't even done it yet. She doesn't know. Point the way you don't want to hit. I don't know what she said. We're just ignoring her because she hasn't even been on here yet. You can't pass all those boats. Right, you're the first bridge. I'm halfway oh, here we go. Right, here we go. First bridge. This doesn't. My head's too big. <laughs> oh no! Come on, boat. <laughs> Picks this up way quicker. Here you go. Uh, thanks for the recommendation, John. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I never had one before. Mmm. See anyone? Yeah. It's gone. You gotta hit the thing. Clotted free. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> that can give you guys an idea on how slow we're going. If we are going faster than the dog walkers, we are doing it too fast. So this is a definite leisurely stroll kind of holiday. That's that's pretty much how slow we got on. So, yep, so you're gonna aim us that way. Yep, you're going good. Oh, that ain't the sticky situation. Oh, no. Planning the perfect trip shouldn't be a hassle, right? From finding that perfect hotel, then going through the endless reviews, to planning a five-day trip in the UK, and don't get me started on an itinerary. But guess what? We have found a game changer, which is today's sponsor. Let me introduce you to Magic, our new AI travel buddy. Alrighty, watch this. Find me a family-friendly hotel in London, under $300, with a gym. 
Magic doesn't just find matches, it reads all the reviews and even gives you a lowdown on the good, the bad and the best fit, unbiased and real. You can do this all in real time, want to adjust the parameters? Maybe say it has to be near the Big Ben. Next up, you can use it to make hassle-free travel itineraries. Whether you're a foodie or on a cultural journey, Magic aligns with your style, budget and craving. And the best bit is, you might not know where to start. Magic will start asking you questions so it can learn about what type of trip you want to go on. So it's way less overwhelming. Magic will walk you through the process. It will ask you a bunch of questions and then it will start populating a full itinerary including as detailed as how long you should spend at each place. If you're ready to travel smarter, make sure you check out the link in the description below. And the best bit is, it's free. Interested in hearing what itineraries you guys make? Leave a comment below. It's always there, moving, yes, forward. On the ground, you can't tell. When you're driving a world map, I get a little bit stressed, that is fine, but you are a passenger and just sitting here, the engine is just a slight hum, especially when you're in the middle of the boat. It's just so peaceful. We are going to be playing with weather this week, so it started raining this morning, it cleared up a little bit. Hey, I'll take clouds over rain any day, but if not, it's the full English experience to have some rain. <laughs> but this is just so peaceful. There's a pub there, should we stop? <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's cool. It's the very woke up. So fun now, I feel like you, you two are getting the hang of it now. Yeah, I think Cleo is officially the captain. Swap hats. Alright, I've been demoted to crew. Whose small <laughs> head is this? Captain. Don't make the joke. Hey, I'm the captain now. <laughs> I don't know what they look like, but I think we're coming to our first ever lock, Steve. Look at there. Oh yeah. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> we got this, do you remember your training? Uh, we just had a very wet crash course and um, I'm going to say crash course. I do think we're going to crash today. I don't. No? Do we grab I a walk? Captain! Captain! <laughs> I should have looked at the training. I know, you should have. She was looking after Hunter instead of doing the training. <laughs> And it's already, what, it was a couple of hours ago now, I've forgotten the training. <laughs> we need like a weebler, a warbler, a something. All I know is that we need to open some gates, fill up some water, and get through those gates and keep on going. It's an hour boating 101 with Jessica, Harry Valentine. I mean, maybe we'll wait to the side and watch something else first. I'll hop off after this white one, and then you can focus on the lock. All right, you got this, Cleo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. Bye. Do you need help? Yeah, this is stuck. You need to bring it over to me, right? And then you need to start flying up, Steve. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, cool. We're oh, out the boat. You, you guys need to drive. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, thank you, mate. Cheers. Okay. You know what's the best is when you just meet beautiful locals that want to help. Oh, I know. Got this little old lady helping me. She's like, you go one side, I'll go on the other. We'll do this together. Oh. And here Cleo comes. Oh, yeah. Like that, as you can see, we had to raise the water level to come up to the level of the canal up here. Let's do it! Do it, Leo! Okay, we all know who the real captain is here. Oh, captain Coa Bear! <laughs> go forward or anything? It's good at the moment? Yeah. Alright, a much more successful lock too. So we've just arrived and I think Koa Bear was the magic touch just then because Clea and I have successfully attached us to the side and we're in line, ready to face another lock. I hope our little friend from before comes and helps us. She said she'll see us. <laughs> All right, this trip is um, about getting out of our comfort zone, definitely out of the comfort zone. Clea was great doing the first lock so we could kind of learn with our friendly grandma and grandpa over there uh, but now I want to drive the boat in the lock and they're gonna do the, the crank so we've waited for one person to go one person to go up now it's our turn to go you guys good it's good yeah. oh, I think... <laughs> 
So then I reckon I start reversing or just keep going in. All right, I think uh, we successfully did our two locks, uh, almost filled up, and then we're good to go. Now that we fall in, we did it! We did it! We're canellas. Is that what they call ourselves? Narrow boaters, so we did it! Just going past British cottages, white stone, ducks just everywhere. Oh, this is just so nice. I think we found a good spot to stop tonight. It's shaded. Reverse, baby. Looking good, Cleo. We've stopped by all these berries. Is that mistletoe? What do you reckon those are? Should I taste them all? Tell you if they're good or not? It's more like taste berries. them all and see if you die or not. These are blackberries. It's a... Jessica. <laughs> the queen has arisen. <laughs> We're still fighting a bit of jet lag because we've only been in the UK for a few days and on the weekend we had a big book signing so this one's been tired. Should have slept through everything. Hunter, I saw your smiles. You missed it all, dude. We're already back up on the land. Another one? No. Ooh, coming, coming to regret. It's floating away. Yeah. Crack, crack, there's a here. In like <laughs> First, the children needed to collect all the ingredients for the spell. Do you know some magic words? Whoa, that is the best magic words. Left over. Alrighty, show my day two. Don't you just love when you wake up in the morning and you just feel so much more confident than yesterday? I think it was just so chaotic, but with the mooring down, we got the steering down, we got the locks down, but there are so many more adventures we're going on today, including crossing the highest and the longest aqueduct in the world. Going on, Cleo. <laughs> All right, we've got a dilemma. Someone's like either stuck or trying to turn around a boat in a spot you're probably not meant to turn around a boat. Coming from the expert, that's done it for like less than 12 hours. <laughs> yeah, maybe start going to the left a little bit. <laughs> oh One man show. <laughs> okay, now you've got to not hit their boat. All right. <laughs> Alrighty, we are about to cross our very first aqueduct. So this is a bridge. This isn't the tallest one, but this is our first one nonetheless. This is exciting. Pretty much just a little bridge river that we're gonna cross. Guess what? We're in Wales. Look at that sign. Oh yeah. Welcome to Wales, everybody. We just made it to Wales and we're about to go through the longest tunnel here in the canals and I'm pretty sure they're telling us to go through. Thank you! <laughs> it's our second day! <laughs> oh, thanks for the help. Said it took them about 15 minutes to get through it. Aww. You ready? That is a long tunnel. Headlights are on. We got this. I'm going to the front. I want to check it out. <laughs> There's no earthly way uh -huh. of knowing <laughs> which direction we are going. Guys, before we do the world famous Pontescythe Aqueduct, we have one last challenge. A little bridge. You're right. <laughs> You're a miracle, girl. Look after the kids. You 
know, my favourite part about this trip is that we just don't know what's happening. All we know is we have a destination to get there. And we come to these places and I'm like, I don't know what to do. There's a bridge. I'm guessing we need this thing. Let's do this. Is this it? This is cool. This is my favourite bit so far. Oh, it's so heavy now. <laughs> We're so close to where we need to go, Steve. You want me to do a bit? I want to say I lifted a bridge. So fun seeing the Welsh words. It's a, it's a language. Can you fit through it or do you want more? Oh, a bit more, yeah. Yeah, she says a bit more, yeah. You girls have done an awesome job on this trip so far. It has been all you guys. It does help that these things happen when kids are having a nap. Yeah. Tell us the fun facts about the aqueduct. Do I know any? Isn't it the largest, it's the tallest and the longest aqueduct in the world, am I right? Future Jess, Google it, am I right? Okay, here we are, the moment is here. This is what we've been aiming for this entire trip. We're at the aqueduct. There it is, let's do it. Ready? Let's do it. Oh, you gotta get us across this guy. That was the first time you've driven it. Don't worry guys, I'm doing it. Don't look down. Shit, I'm looking down. Whoa. Windy 160 meters up. Oh, and there's just this very small guardrail, which uh, apparently is what's protecting our lives at the moment. I'm the one protecting your life. Here we go, we've almost made it across. Oh, we found the perfect place to moor up. There is no one around and only, what, was it like 500 metres down the road is a pub. So we're going to be celebrating a little pub meal tonight. Family dinner. Hopefully they've sticky date pudding. You need to show them the view outside of this pub. It is so nice. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. We did it. Yay. And we didn't sing. Yeah. Hunter, she's Beautiful. liking it. Is it good? <laughs> It's called Sticky Toffee Pudding. <laughs> you know you want to celebrate by playing Mini Bees Bingo. Oh yeah.